I'm Roy Leonard. Welcome to Family Classics. You can't beat a boy and his pet for a good story. Black Beauty, The Yearling, The Black Stallion, and Lassie. They've given us some cherished memories, and this week's family classic, The Red Pony, has been quite successful in many forms since John Steinbeck wrote the original story way back in 1937. The first film version, the one that we're going to watch today, was made in 1949. It was re-released rather successfully in 1957, and then Henry Fonda and Maureen O'Hara starred in a TV version in the early 70s. John Steinbeck, who adapted the screenplay from his own work, actually used three of his stories, and then he took the most important character from a tale he wrote called The Promise. Now, Robert Mitchum plays Billy Buck. He's a ranch hand who makes a promise to a young boy who has a closer relationship with Billy than he does with his own father. And the movie also speaks to a very difficult part of growing up. That is the understanding of life and death. Now, trust is also something that this young lad puts a great deal of emphasis on, and he learns a pretty tough lesson. Peter Miles, the boy. Myrna Loy plays his mother, Shepard Strudwick, the father. There's Louis Calhern, the grandfather, and Robert Mitchum as Billy Buck. We're going to begin The Red Pony right after these messages. Growth. It happens when a company does things right. So Bernard Chevrolet in Libertyville was joined by Bernard Isuzu and Bernard Volkswagen and Bernard Subaru and Bernard RV, all located in the Bernard Auto Mall. Over 1,700 new and used cars, vans, trucks, and RVs. Low prices, low sales tax, and the very best service in town. The Bernard Auto Mall on Milwaukee Avenue in Libertyville. And remember, please don't drink and drive. Hi! Recognize this detergent? It whitens without the worry of liquid bleach. Watching whites like this with liquid bleach used to be a real gamble. Yeah, and I usually lost my shirt. Give up? It's Oxidol. With green crystals, we color safe bleach. Look, two berry stained shirts. Guess which one Oxidol whitened and which liquid bleach did. Look at the faded color. I'm impressed. Nice white, no faded. That's great, Ma. Come on, the red skins, not the pink skins. So who whitens without the worry of liquid bleach? Guess! 